Oh, Maeve, it is so good to see you again on public television. Welcome back. Oh, and you, Laura. It's really lovely to be here. Now, how was it getting back together and singing with Orla after what a few years? It's a now. couple of years, yeah. It's super. I mean, it's. I think our voices blend very well together, and she's just a very warm, hospitable person. So it's really nice to be performing with her again. It's just like old times. And to do a Christmas special must be very heartwarming for you. Yeah, I mean, I think both of us in particular really love um, the music of home and music around Christmas time. It's a real special time and. For both of us, we would go home and perform music, say, with our families and with a wider community as well. It's, it's a big part of, of Christmas for us, so uh, it's really great to be able to sing with her and do some of that music here. Uh, do you hear what I hear? Is that a song that you would hear during Christmas time in Ireland? Yeah, it's not one of the best known ones, but it's a really, uh, people would know that the chorus would, would come along to that. And uh, yeah, it's a nice choice. Actually, when we were re recording it, um, Dan, the, the, the music producer, was saying that the voices really, really are close in it, you know, especially when you do those little echoey parts. So it was a real pleasure to do that one. Tell me about some of the Celtic Christmas traditions that we might not know of here. Uh, well, it's really a big family thing, Christmas time, and getting together to, to perform music would definitely be a big part of my Christmas. Uh, I always sing on Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve. I go back and sing in a, in a Carmelite church in Dublin. So that would be a very big thing for us. And people come from home. It's such a big deal, no matter where you are in the world, to try and get home for Christmas. So that would be really important. In fact, I have a friend, she's a doctor, and that was her first, she got a new job down the country. And it was like, how am I going to get home to Dublin for Christmas? <laughs> she wasn't worried about all the other things that were involved. So, and lighting candles, we light a candle in the, in the window of every home to say that anyone who comes is welcome. It's an idea that if any strangers are passing, that the idea is that they're welcome home. Oh, so that must tie into the fact that the innkeeper in Bethlehem. Exactly, that's the idea. Some people will put a candle in every window, so uh -huh. it certainly is a nice, creates a nice atmosphere. Oh, Holy Night is a very special song to us here in the U.S. Uh, 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 at Christmas time. How about in Ireland? Yeah, I didn't realize how, how well known it was here until I went sort of researching it and discovered that it really is an iconic song. It's, it's a very important song at Christmas time, but it's more a classical song at home. I guess not so many contemporary singers would cover it, whereas here it's really a, a torch song for so many people. So I'm delighted and honored to be doing it tonight. Tell us what you've been doing the last couple of years. Well, I've uh, two little girls at home, oh. so uh, they've. I've been doing a bit of singing and a bit of a bit of uh, being mom at home as well. So uh, that's been lots of fun. And now, just my younger girl is just 14 months, so starting to do some more performances. I had a gig in Carnegie Hall in March, and a couple more concerts in the U.S., and hoping to do some more uh, quite soon as well. A couple of nice musical projects on the on the back burner. So that's oh. what I'm up to. Well, we are so happy to see you again. Oh, thank you, Laura. It's my pleasure. Thanks for being a part of the special.